Hello, welcome to my ninth video. My name is Jensen. Since my last video, a lot has happened. My house didn't have power for about a week after this gigantic storm that rolled through town. Um, and while the power was out, I decided instead of working on some comic things, might as well try a new medium. So I actually did have a set of oil pastels. I loved these, they were super creamy. Um, the only issue was I had every single one except a white. If y'all know much about oil pastels, white is the most crucial color. So I started off by getting the Pentel oil pastel set and I brought them home and they were so dry. And I'll show a picture of the picture I tried to make with them, but I ended up just returning them. I disliked them so much. That's my, that's my cat in the background. That's Perry. And then up on the bed, that's milk, my little kitties. And I'm actually going to return these as well. And the reason for that is I did some digging and come to find out that Mungyo makes Master's Touch. It's the same oil pastels. I didn't want to believe it at first, but it's true. But after all of that, I decided, okay, I will get the Paul Rubin, the Paul Rubens everyone's talking about. So whenever I go to order the Paul Rubens, I see that they actually have a tier two. It's their second generation. And they're called the Hayas. So this is what they look like, the Paul Rubens. I'm very excited because all of the reviews on this said that it was completely identical to the Sennelier's. So they said it was like drawing with lipstick, super buttery. And the main cons I saw on the reviews were if it's really hot outside, they melt. And it is the middle of the summer here in the South. So I was very worried that these have melted. So I haven't looked at them yet because I wanted to unbox them on the video, but we're gonna open it and we're gonna hope that it's not just a puddle. I'm here with my Pee Wee Hermans and we're about to get into it. Oh, and it comes with a little, a little swatch card. I got the 60 set, so these are all of my colors. Aren't those gorgeous? I am so excited. So, whoo, here we go. Wow, we. That looks fancy. I'll even get the light on it so you can really, really see what they look like. I'll even grab my little camera here. Wow, we, wow, wow, wow. That's probably what you're thinking right now. I'll get a cute little sliding down shot for you. So you can really just get a good look at them. A lot of them did kind of melt, which is unfortunate, but they're not ruined. They just kind of need to be wiped off by the look of it. But yeah, they did melt. They do have a pretty significant scent to them. It's definitely a stronger smell than any of the other ones I've ever smelled. Okay, Paul Rubens, go off. All right, now that those are all cleaned up, and I forgive them for it. It's the Southern Heat. It wiped off pretty easy and it seems like all of the pastels are just fine. So let's just move on. There is something I wanted to show. It does look like <laughs> a holage going on right here. We'll see if that is an issue later, but it is something to keep in mind. Ooh, that is nice. It's really not as wet feeling as I thought it would be, but it's still really, really buttery. So with just one little, and I wasn't even pressing down very hard, it does kind of smush a lot. So I guess it, I'll try to use a very light hand, especially with the white. This next one is Naples yellow, which <laughs> my very favorite yellow, wouldn't you know it? It's like the complete opposite of how the Pentels feel. <laughs> Okay, with my intentionally light hand, this is how different it looks. So it seems like it just requires a very gentle touch. So this next one is, I, I imagine, lemon yellow. Yep, lemon yellow. This color is called gold yellow. This one is called luminous yellow. Titanium buff. <laughs> it's a silly little name. 
a lot of I am having to wipe a lot of them off. You can see how shiny my fingers are. So yeah, I don't know if Pee Wee Herman knows about this. Uh, I don't know if it's gone that far up the chain of command. This color is called Bright Yellow. This one is called Yellow Deep. Ew, look at that one. That one's got like a whole layer of Vaseline on him. Yeah, that is. Okay, this one is called Mandarin. For this set, um, it was $35 for 60, which I thought was a steal. Uh, and then the 48 set was, I think, around 20 to $25. So this next one is called Chinese Orange Vermilion. looking like vermilion bucks this one didn't really have much oil on it at all so shout out to this coral one wow it's like little piggy pink this next one's called rose ochre this one is kind of scary this is called flesh ochre <laughs> i'm terrified right now i painted my nails because i was feeling self-conscious about them so <laughs> let's just continue on Pale Pink Matter Lacquer, <laughs> Red Light. <laughs> uh, this one is Permanent Intense Red. This next one is Covered in Oil. <laughs> that's, not the pic that's not the color name, if you can believe it. This one is called Coral. Coral? This one's called Red Deep. <laughs> and this one is called Ruby Red. The first couple days, I had oil pastels. I didn't blend them at all, I just was layering colors and blending that way. And it seems like where the real magic happens is in the blending. So I tried blending a few pictures with my finger and I'll put them on the screen right now. All right, I wrote all of the names in English for the second row here. So let's get it started. This first one is just called purple, simply. Short, sweet, to the point. This one's called Bordeaux. Yep, that's a nice Bordeaux color. Aptly named, aptly named. Blue Violet, Parma Violet. And that is spelled with an A. This next one is Cobalt, Cobale Violet Light. Yeah, I thought it said Cobalt, but it's Cobale for sure. This is Pale Blue. This is Ash Blue. This is Thalo Blue. Azure Blue. Azure. And this is royal blue, Indian blue, cobalt blue, this is French ultramarine. And then this next one is my very favorite color and I love that it's 007 for the code. Prussian blue. Yeah, Prussian blue mixed with Naples yellow is just a god tier color combination. Yep, and that's definitely Prussian blue. Oh, goodness, I love this. Yep, that's my favorite color right there. This is indigo light coming up right here. Uh, this is barite green, barite green. Barite! Barite! <laughs> Here's Celadon as the Celadon city. All right, this one I was also very excited for, the turquoise blue. And then we got celestial blue. Princess Celestial. And then lastly, but not leastly, Midnight Blue. This is Green Yellow Light. It's Cinnabar Green Yellow. And then Olive Green. Moss Green. Next we got Thalo Green Light. A distant cousin to CeeLo Green. Permanent Green Light. Never turns red. Then we got Green Medium. Can talk to spirits that are green. Next is Pine Green, Sap Green Light, Blue Green. Next is Yellow Ochre, Raw Sienna, R -r 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 -raw Sienna. Venetian Red, Red Brown, Burnt Umber. Then we got Burnt Sienna, B -b -b Burnt Sienna, Raw Umber. This is Charcoal. Then we got Payne's Gray, Black. So I'm going to think of what I'm going to draw and then we will get into it. 
A lot of what I want to do with oil pastels is more studies and getting a more intimate idea of color shifts, textures, things like that. There's three little ducks in my reference. We got that little duck going that way. him a little bit better. Same with this guy. He's kind of just getting something out of the water. That's all I really need for my sketch. I will say this white is pretty transparent. It doesn't quite cover the colored pencil underneath. I would consider this little sketch done. This took me about five minutes worth of sketching and then about 25, 30 minutes of painting. I think this came out really great. All in all, I'm having a blast with them so far. They're so much fun to blend. They layer so easily. This is crack. All right, for my next attempt with this medium, I'm going to attempt a portrait. Uh, one of the most beautiful women in the world, in my opinion, is Miss Audrey Hepburn. So I'm going to do a little portrait of her.
final thoughts, I'd like to say a few things. These are an incredible product and exactly what I've been looking for. If I didn't like these, I was just going to give up on the medium. I just started feeling like they were all kind of meant to be dry and <laughs> I thought, surely there's some that allow you to have a look similar to what I'm looking for, apart from the ones that are $70 for a pack of 20. So if you're looking for a really, really soft finish, something that can build into a really textured look, these are definitely what you're looking for. I love these. I can't wait to use them more. This is how much white I used. The white is a little bit more transparent than I expected. It layers on top of the other colors very well, but if you have um, a darker sketch underneath, it doesn't cover it all the way. So that is just something to keep in mind. It's not necessarily a con. When I was actually using it, I felt like it layered on top of the other colors very well in terms of the water texture. I tried using it a little bit in this portrait, but I ended up just tabling it and only using the Naples yellow. So as I was saying when I was doing the swatches, the god tier color combination, Naples yellow and Prussian blue, that's the focus of this piece. I love the way it looks and I love the way that you're able to have a really blended finish or a really textured finish just depending on when you use a blender and how the colors are underneath it. They're super fun and something that I thought was really good as well is they're very forgiving. So with this one I started to get a little bit tired but I wanted to keep working so I started going in a weird direction with it. It got to the point where I just felt like I wanted to restart it because the eye was just, I did the eye too high and it was just not what I wanted it to be. So came off pretty easy and I was able to start over without just completely making a mud of everything and the next day whenever I wanted to go in and tighten the details a little bit more it was super easy to do so love this product I would rate it probably a 10 out of 10 that will be it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to see you in the next one get home safe and I love you <laughs> <laughs>